certainly know about trying to recover from injuries. Don, how's your your sort of comeback going with the whole thing, the rehab? And yeah, uh, going really well at the moment. Um, in, uh, in December last year, I had uh, surgery to repair my LCL ligament. And my It's not bad, is it? It's good movement from yeah. Duncan. Put the test into the front corner. Yeah. Again, she's yeah. been wicked on that post. Nine, six. Good preparation, hold. Very good awareness. Well, it's four game balls for Duncan, leading 10 6 here. Well, there you go. Impressive stuff. Jenny Duncalf might not be finished here Duncalf just yet. She's looking to prolong her stay in this tournament. She did that first game in very confident style, that's for sure. 11-6 the first game. It's Duncalf leading by one game to love. I'm useless at remembering to keep <laughs> saying the score. Well, again, it's a vicious boast from Duncalf. This time on the volley slightly earlier. That was a great shot. It's working brilliantly for us, sort of going for it when it's there. She, what she doesn't want to do is just get into a, a trading, a driving game, does she? Yeah. Not on a court like this, not against an opponent like this. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, she's got to be careful not to overdo it with, with those boasts because, uh, or, or throwing the ball into the front like that because uh, El Arabi, for the most part of this game, it's, it's been Jenny in front the whole way until now. Well, it's a tough movement, getting Duncalf on the stretch, so Al Arabi has equalised here. I mean, it's on to it so quickly. Yeah. Talking about one of the most skillful players on the tour. Back will boast from the service box there by Duncalf. Not very often you see that. 7-3. <laughs> Risky to in case you miss the back wall there. <laughs> wow, it's a good rally. It's a huge rally, double bounce, ball not coming back. Looked like El Arabi was in complete control, but she made the wrong choice. And it let Duncalf in and then... Down. Well, there it is. Perfect length Seven from nine. Jenny Duncalf. Big fist pump as she walked off the court. Good choice there from El Arabi. She's getting a lot of success with shots where she's kind of uh, changes Jenny's direction there and a uh, little bit of hold and change of direction. It's quite successful. Yeah, she has. Oh, and wow. also just there, if, where El Arabi is positioned is a very brave place to be on the squad. Well, you can't give Jenny Duncalf an opening like that. It's basically going to be picking the ball up off the floor and giving it to her to serve ball bounce. It's a match ball for Duncalf. Well, and she's done it. Wonderful skills. Jenny Duncalf lives to fight another day here. She is prolonging her retirement. She's got no intention of going away very quickly or quietly. Brilliant skills from Duncalf. Very impressive. Well, 40 minutes, really entertaining squash. Jenny Duncalf has taken out 
Roma, Larrabee, 3 1. She's done it 11 6, 9 11, 11 9, and then 12 10 in that tie break. Well, you're doing such a good job at MCing so far. I thought you could keep it up tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> so, obviously, you know, you two played each other in El Guna. That was a reasonably comfortable win um, for Rowan, 3 Love. Um, but obviously, the prospect of potentially playing in your last ever PSA match brought out something special today. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, you're right. I didn't expect to be stood here as the winner, um, which probably helped. I just wanted to put in a half decent performance in well, my last tournament. I thought it was going to be my last match. Rowan's such a good little player, and you're right, I've been on the wrong end the last couple of times. And yeah, I felt quite comfortable from the word go. Nice to play on a glass court. It's been quite a long time. I used to spend most of my time on the glass court, so so nice to play on it again. It's quite dead, which I was panicking about in practice. I was thinking, oh dear, this could be a whitewash, but at times I managed to kind of hit the corners okay. And yeah, just, yeah, I wasn't really expecting to. I don't feel like I've played that much squash recently. Um, so yeah, nice. And I just wanted to put in, yeah, an okay performance. So to come out winning is, uh, yeah, very much a treat. <laughs> Emily nice. Whitlock up against Lucy Ling of Hong Kong. Oh, what a shot. Pouncing across the middle on that court. She's really skillful and uh, she's quite hard to read, actually. That's I find when I'm playing her. <laughs> um, she's a good mover as well. Which bit do you find difficult in terms of reading? Uh, just her technique has, is a little bit different. It's quite sort of short and sharp. Well, it's rapid movement from Whitlock, doing ever so well to stay in the rally. And down nine, ten, to no avail in the end. Lucy Ling's playing quite confidently here. She's definitely taking the game to Whitlock. She's, she's not scared, although it's a good finish there from Whitlock. But Six, five. Emily's using the height so nicely there to really find that back corner. But again, it's, it's as soon as the ball's loose in the middle of the court. Nine, six. Oh, that Great is. Shot. <laughs> Hand out, 7 10, game ball. Very clean, outright kill there on the volley. Yes, so nice. It's going to be tough for uh, Lucy Ling to not oh. stop oh. Emily Lucy Whitlock winning this game. And there you go, Lucy she slots Lucy that cross court volley, Nick. Take that. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> Great shot, really oh, freeing oh, up her hands left. here on this kill. It's like a stun. It's only been the trend of this match so far. Lucy Ling making that sort of very positive start and then being reeled in and overhauled oh. by Whitlock. She's, uh, she's pretty flexible. <laughs> Perfect splits from Perfect Lucy splits. Ling. That's a 10 out of 10 split. Two match balls remaining. Couldn't quite convert with the first one. She made sure she got the serve on the wall that time, Lucheling, but it didn't make too much difference. That is a very solid and confident performance by an informed, dangerous Emily Whitlock. 28 minutes in total. Three love against Lucy Ling, taking 11-9, 11-7, 11-8.
Nicole David was saying earlier that she's um, certainly looking to having some proper holidays as soon as she's done with her squash here. She doesn't have to actually think about it at all, whereas no, in the I mean past when she has breaks, it's always thinking about squash. No, it must be very refreshing for So Nicole David is professional as ever, not leaving anything to chance. There's Liz Irving going off to talk to her for him, Khan, in the opposite corner. But again, very dominant moving onto the ball at the front. <laughs> well, I'll have to say. Yes. It's one of the coldest courts I've ever played on. They still have that, that side ball on uh, as yeah. double yellow, yellow. No, it's Forest. Five game balls here for David for a two love lead. So David, David skips off, looking as perky as ever. Knowledge there by C Lock. Just a little wry smile, which is nice to see. Oh my goodness me. That surely was worth a little bit of a fist pump. That was as dead as a dodo. What a great seven, shot. Six. And played it. Nicely done. We actually got and Nicole David scampering around the court there. Good use of the strings, cutting that ball. Cross. Well, that's cannon fodder for Nicole David. That ball sitting up from Hoti Lockwell. Will not. <laughs> oh, it, is. it was down, down, it was down. <laughs> it was down, lovely smile there Thank from C. Lock, who produced an excellent match. She really did, 33 minutes. It's a slightly nervy shot again at the end of that last rally. Well, I would say though, the, the, the tempo's okay for her and she's actually settling down all right apart from the, the couple of snatches that she's made and out. so actually Three, although, although there have been a couple of finishes that, that you wouldn't necessarily expect her to make sort of just around in front of you or around the the service box areas like this sort of area Ten four game ball well that boast finding the nick from Hillis Got herself six game balls here. Stroke to that's Gillis. going to be a stroke. Ball being four. sprayed by Termel. Game to Gillis. Gillis. You have to adapt a little bit with your swing as well onto the glass court. She's just lacking a little bit with her racket head speed sometimes, and that's then forcing the ball to catch side wall and spraying it out. And it's those little changes that you recognise if, you, if you're a bit more experienced on these courts. Well, it's a perfect start from Killis in this second. Well, it's actually Bart from Belgium that's sitting next to Paul Cole, and he is a, a mentor and a, a mental coach. A psychologist, I think. I have a little bit of work to do here because Termel is coming back at Gillis.
down. Well, eight. she went for the Gains variation. Gillis. She's Gillis found the tin. Job done. And she's here watching her sister. Well, it's unbelievably tight from Gillis as well. Finished off. And what a one-two that was. One-two. at the back what shots coming rather than in the hand sort of later on in the shot like there it was a bit later well if you think about the you know the very top players that is a huge strength Eight isn't five. It? the ability to make quite late decisions you need the shot in the hand don't you to be able to do that Again, it's too five. good from Gillis. She bossed Back it from in front of Turmel. Very strong performance. Safely through for the Belgian against what could have been a bit of a tricky match. But the form from Gillis, very good. 33 minutes in duration. Naila Gillis taking out wild card. Lucy Turmel, three love. 11-4, 11-8, 11-5. Yeah, it's been really solid so far from Lowy Wem. Nice touch from Mowgli. Is one of her main weapons to volley through the middle of the court. Four game balls for low. Six going to low. Low thundering that return into the tin in the corners at the front and at the back. You have to really sink in to be able to use your body in the shot. And there's been a couple of times where she's hit errors. It's just not quite in, got into the legs enough. So dogged with her determination, isn't she? Like, I mean, that's a couple of really good gets. And she just completely sort of turned the rally back in her favour. It's the difference between the two when, they, when they're having to scramble. Another error from the racket of Mowgli. What a shot that is. <laughs> Great skills from Mowgli. Three, two. Well, the last match, it's relatively low risk, but she's just been putting the ball in difficult areas. Moverly, obviously the awareness is there that physically Moverly is struggling. It's been tactically quite clever from Lowy Wern. Nine, six. Nice volley drop means that Lowe has four match balls. There you go. Nicely finished by Lowy Wern. Very solid performance. Impressive stuff from the Malaysian player. Confirmation of that three love victory for Lowe We Wern over Fiona Mowgli. Three love, 11 6, 11 3, 11 6.
give you a second to try and gather yourself, sorry to grab you so quickly. Um, I mean, by your reaction, it's obviously a massive moment for you tonight. <laughs> yeah, if you'd have told me five years ago I'd be here, I'd have told you to get lost. <laughs> um, yeah, it was actually here five years ago that kind of inspired me to give it another go, 27 years old. I hadn't really played squash for a couple of years. And I thought, do you know what? This is what I want to do, you know, for unfinished business. I think I can do even better than the last time, so. Yeah, I came back and it's just so nice to finish it here. Obviously, I haven't played since Chicago. Doing, like, having a proper job now. But, um, yeah, it's just really special to be back here in front of you guys, so thank you for coming.